Welcome back, Machinery Mavericks! Dive deep with us into the hidden world of tunnel boring machines, where each turn of the massive cutting heads reveals stories of human ingenuity, perseverance, and the relentless pursuit to reshape the very earth beneath us. From Seattle's legendary Bertha to China's mammoth Jinghua, join us as we uncover the extraordinary tales and technological marvels of these underground titans. As we marvel at these underground titans, it's fascinating to ask, how do these colossal machines work? Let's demystify the engineering behind tunnel boring machines and understand the symphony of technology that enables them to carve through the earth. At the forefront of every TBM is the cutting head. This is where the magic begins. Rotating at a steady pace, the cutting head is equipped with disc cutters that apply enormous pressure to break the rock or soil. Each cutter is a masterpiece of engineering, designed to tackle specific ground conditions. As the TBM advances, the excavated material, or muck, is transported away from the face through a sophisticated conveyor belt system. This continuous removal is crucial for the smooth operation of the machine and the safety of the tunnel. One of the most critical aspects of tunneling is supporting the excavated tunnel to prevent collapses. Most TBMs simultaneously install concrete lining segments to create a stable tunnel structure. This process is meticulously synchronized with the excavation to ensure structural integrity and efficiency. Powering these giants is a main drive, usually an electric motor, delivering the torque necessary to turn the cutting head. The spoil removal system, comprising trucks or conveyor belts, efficiently transports the muck out of the tunnel. And at the heart of it all is the control cabin, where skilled operators and engineers monitor every aspect of the TBM's operation, making real-time adjustments to optimize performance. Modern TBMs are marvels of adaptability. From the dense rock of mountain ranges to the soft soil beneath cities, these machines adjust their techniques. Some use earth pressure balance technology to stabilize soft grounds, while others, like slurry TBMs, use a liquid mixture to support the tunnel walls in extremely challenging conditions. Our journey begins in Seattle, with a TBM that's not just a machine, but a legend. Meet Bertha, named with a nod to Seattle's history and a testament to human ambition. This behemoth isn't just any TBM. It's the largest ever constructed in the United States, with a record-breaking 17.6-meter diameter. But Bertha's story is one of not just size, but of resilience and innovation. Bertha's mission was monumental, to replace the aging Alaskan Way viaduct with a 2.8-kilometer tunnel, a task that seemed almost Herculean. Constructed in 2009 by Hitachi Zosen Corporation, this Earth Pressure Balance EPB weighed a staggering 6,350 metric tons. Its length, a mind-boggling 118.8 meters, housed not just machinery, but also human ingenuity. Bertha was a marvel of engineering. Its 43 disc cutters tore through the earth, each weighing 10 tons. The 7,200 kilowatt electric motor hummed as it powered the cutting head, working tirelessly day and night. A 104-meter-long conveyor belt whisked away the excavated material, an essential part of this underground giant. But the path of innovation is never smooth. Bertha faced its fair share of challenges, from mechanical breakdowns to unexpected geological formations. It wasn't just about digging a tunnel. It was about overcoming obstacles that tested the limits of technology and human determination. After a long journey fraught with challenges, in 2017, Bertha triumphantly broke through the final barrier. The completion of its tunnel was not just a technical achievement, it was a symbol of perseverance. Today, as vehicles smoothly transit through the tunnel where Bertha once toiled, we are reminded of the incredible feats of engineering that lie hidden beneath our feet. Bertha's legacy extends beyond concrete and steel. It's a story of vision, challenges, and the relentless human spirit to push beyond the known limits. As we venture forth to explore more tunneling titans, remember Bertha, the giant under Seattle. From the depths of Seattle, we now ascend to the alpine peaks of Switzerland, where another giant, Herenecht Victoria, carved its name into history. This German-engineered titan defied the formidable Alps to create the Gothard Base Tunnel, the longest railway tunnel in the world. The Hurenek S799, or as it's affectionately known, Victoria, embarked on a remarkable journey. With a diameter of 9.4 meters, it's not as large as Bertha. But don't let its size fool you, Victoria is a master of endurance and precision. Constructed between 2007 and 2010, 
Victoria weighed 4,200 tons and stretched over 415 meters. Its 4,000 kilowatt electric motor and 17 massive disc cutters allowed it to tunnel through hard rock with unmatched efficiency, reaching speeds of up to 45 meters per day. Victoria's task was daunting, to tunnel through the heart of the Alps, a region known for its complex geological formations. This required not just power, but also an extraordinary level of precision. Throughout its journey, Victoria encountered varying rock conditions, from brittle granite to abrasive gneiss. But with its advanced technology and a dedicated team of engineers, each challenge was met with innovative solutions. In 2016, after years of relentlessly tunneling, Victoria emerged on the other side of the Alps. The completion of the Gothard Base Tunnel was a moment of triumph not just for Switzerland, but for engineering feats worldwide. Today, as trains whisk passengers and goods beneath the Alpine peaks, the legacy of Victoria lives on. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of connecting our world in ways previously thought impossible. As we leave the peaks of Switzerland, we carry with us the story of Hurenecht Victoria, a true Alpine conqueror whose legacy is etched deep beneath the mountains. Leaving the straightforward mechanics of traditional TBMs, we now turn to a machine that redefines versatility in tunneling, the Robbins Crossover XRE. This innovative TBM is a chameleon in the underground world, adept at navigating both hard rock and soft ground with equal finesse. The Crossover XRE, a blend of rock and earth pressure balance technologies, is custom built to tackle the most challenging geological conditions. Its diameter can be adjusted from 6.7 meters to a massive 15.24 meters, tailored to the needs of each unique project. With an advanced design, the XRE seamlessly switches between different modes. In rock mode, it uses disc cutters to bore through solid bedrock, while in EPB mode, it employs a screw conveyor to manage softer ground. This adaptability not only saves time, but also reduces the need for multiple machines. The magic of the XRE lies in its ability to adjust on the fly. As it encounters varying ground conditions, it can change its excavation method without significant downtime, a feature that's crucial in urban environments with complex underground landscapes. In projects like the Esme Salili Railway Tunnel in Turkey and the Sydney Metro in Australia, the XRE showcased its prowess. Whether it's cutting through hard basalts or maneuvering around urban infrastructure, the XRE approaches each challenge with a solution-oriented mindset. The Robbins Crossover XRE is not just a machine. It's a symbol of the evolving landscape of tunneling technology. It stands as a testament to the ingenuity required to master the underground, proving that with the right tools, no terrain is too daunting. Now we enter the realm of the Hurenecht Multimode TBM, a machine that takes adaptability to new heights. This TBM isn't just versatile, it's a shapeshifter, capable of transforming to meet the demands of the ground it faces. Designed by the renowned Hurenecht AG, this multi-mode TBM can switch between earth pressure balance and slurry shield modes. This means it can efficiently tunnel through soft soil, mixed face environments, and even hard rock, all with the same machine. Depending on the project's needs, its diameter ranges from 6.2 meters to an impressive 16 meters. The TBM's modular design allows for quick configuration changes, reducing downtime and enhancing efficiency on the job. The multi-mode TBM has proven its worth in several high-profile projects. In the bustling streets of Paris, for the Grand Paris Express Metro project, and under the historical landscapes of Germany, for the Stuttgart-Ulm railway project, this TBM has demonstrated its unparalleled flexibility and reliability. Equipped with interchangeable cutting heads and a sophisticated control system, the multi-mode TBM navigates varying geological challenges with precision. Its ability to adapt on the go not only speeds up construction, but also paves the way for more sustainable and cost-effective tunneling solutions. The Hurenecht Multimode TBM is more than a machine. It's a harbinger of the future of tunneling. Its versatility and efficiency embody the innovative spirit that drives the construction industry forward, making what once seemed impossible. Our final stop takes us to China, where the CRCHI Mega Slurry TBM Jinghua stands as a towering testament to the country's advancements in tunneling technology. Jinghua isn't just any TBM, it's one of the largest in the world and a pinnacle of Chinese engineering prowess. 
with a staggering diameter of 16.07 meters, Jinghua was specifically designed for the Beijing East Ring Road Line 6 project. Its size and capabilities represent a significant leap in TBM technology, showcasing China's ability to tackle ambitious infrastructure challenges. Jinghua's slurry shield design is perfectly suited for the diverse ground conditions of Beijing. The TBM uses pressurized slurry to stabilize the tunnel face, allowing for efficient excavation and transport of the excavated material. This technique is particularly effective in soft to medium hard ground conditions. Equipped with 58 disc cutters and a powerful 7200 kilowatt electric motor, Jinghua can tunnel up to 24 meters per day. Its advanced spoil removal system and comprehensive safety features ensure both efficiency and safety during the tunneling process. Jinghua's journey beneath Beijing was not just about constructing a tunnel. It was about contributing to a major infrastructure project that will enhance urban connectivity and development. Its success is a clear indicator of China's growing prowess in the field of mega infrastructure projects. The CRCHI Mega Slurry TBM Jinghua, with its monumental size and cutting edge technology, not only completed its task with distinction, but also paved the way for future innovations in tunneling. It stands as a colossal achievement, symbolizing the fusion of tradition and modernity in the heart of China. In a field dominated by colossal machines, the boring company introduces a game changer, the Proofrock TBM. Named after a literary character, Proofrock isn't just a machine. It's a symbol of innovation and efficiency in tunneling, challenging conventional methodologies with its groundbreaking design. Proof Rock marks a departure from traditional TBMs in many ways. With a diameter of 12 to 14 feet, it's designed for smaller, more agile urban tunneling projects. This streamlined size is a strategic choice, aiming to reduce costs and construction time in densely populated areas. What sets Proof Rock apart is its speed. This TBM can tunnel over a mile per week, a pace that shatters previous records. It's a fully electric machine reducing emissions and noise, a crucial advantage in urban settings. Proofrock's most innovative feature is its ability to perform continuous mining. Unlike traditional TBMs that require frequent stops to install tunnel linings, Proofrock integrates this process into its excavation style. This continuous operation significantly accelerates tunnel construction. Another breakthrough is Proofrock's porpoising capability. It can start its journey from the surface, tunnel underground, and re-emerge minimizing the need for extensive surface excavation. This, combined with the use of rubber wheeled segment trucks instead of traditional rail systems, further enhances its efficiency and reduces its environmental footprint. While Proof Rock is a beacon of innovation, it's part of an ongoing evolution in tunneling. The Boring Company continues to refine its technology, tackling challenges such as scalability and economic viability in large-scale projects. Proofrock isn't just a TBM, it's a vision of the future, embodying the shift towards more sustainable, efficient, and less disruptive urban tunneling. As we watch the technology develop, it's clear that the Boring Company is not just boring tunnels. It's paving the way for a new era in infrastructure. As our journey at Giga Gear Galaxy concludes, we thank you for joining us in exploring the fascinating world of agricultural and construction machinery. If you're as passionate about these mechanical giants as we are, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us delve deeper into these industrial marvels, 